Justice for Skype and Education. I'm Cynthia Kennedy. Now that we have learned the uses of individual video meetings in Skype for Education, we're going to focus now on how to set up a group video meeting that can be very useful down the line also. If you notice here, we're back at the Skype screen and you have your left side here and your right side there. What we're going to click on now is we're going to set up a, a group video meeting with up to five individuals. So what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to go ahead and click on Joseph Carter for example out of my list contact list here to the right and if you notice the right excuse me on the left if you notice the right side changes Joseph Carter name appears on the top and what I'm going to do is click on add people that's going to pull up my list of all the contacts I can choose from that I've added over time or in you know uh, sitting or whatever that I want to actually communicate with via Skype so what I'm going to do at this time is to set up the uh, group video meeting I'm going to select Debbie collect the select select button I'm going to click DJP and add them and I'm going to click on Kelly Harmon and I'm going to add Kelly to our group. If you need to remove an individual, you can click on their name and remove that individual below here. But what I'm going to do is move forward and click on Add. If you notice, those individual names appear at the top of my screen, including Joseph Carter or myself who's actually initiating the meeting. And what you want to do now is go here to Video Call and you want to click on video call and if you notice the screen quickly changed and at that time it's sending out a call to those individuals so they can join you on video call and you will be able to communicate with Debbie DJP for example and Kelly Harmon at the same time so you guys can either share uh, information you can exchange um, lesson plans you can exchange lessons or you can just touch bases with each other uh, during meeting time it's quite simple to do video conference call as you can see is very cost saving you don't have to travel you can stay right in the comfort of your own office your own classroom and you can converse with others well this concludes our tutorial on setting up group video meetings or contacts for group video meetings our next uh, tutorial will be on uses for group video conferences using Skype hope you enjoyed thank you